Ad Astra Aviska. Welcome to Genshin Impact and D&D Traveler. I'm Talon Striker and I'm here to guide you on this commission. Today we'll be talking about the Princessin Deva Atalang, Fischl. Why don't you introduce yourself? I, Fischl, Princessin Deva Atalang, descend upon this land by the call of fate and... Oh, you are also a traveler from another world? Very well. I grant you permission to travel with me. She means nice to meet you. Without further ado, I bring you all Fischl in D&D. The goals for this build are as follows. Fischl needs her familiar Oz, the Night Raven. She is one of the Adventure Guild's best investigators, so Fischl has to become a mini Sherlock. And she also needs to have a Hawkeye to see anything to make sure her enemies can't escape. I hear the voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication. Starting out, Fischl's race will be a human variant. Here she gets a plus one to both dexterity and wisdom. Fischl gets the deep speech language because most people don't even understand what she says half the time, and she gets proficiency in perception. Then Fischl gets the feat skill expert. This gives her a plus one to wisdom, proficiency in self, and she gets the expertise in perception since she's one of the Adventure Guild's best investigators. Me? <laughs> Remember thou this. That I, Fischl, am the Princess and Defa Ertelung, sovereign of the Imernachreich, omniscient and eminent judge of all the world's iniquity. She's an investigator for the Adventurers Guild. Ahem. <clears throat> that is but one of my many royal engagements. For stats, Fischl will go standard array. Her strength is an 8 because she would rather read books than exercise. Dexterity is a 15. How else would you explain her skill with a bow and her Jojo poses? Constitution is a 12, not being the best or the worst. Intelligence is a 10 because despite all that reading, most of the books are fiction. Wisdom is a 14 thanks to Oz playing the straight man to Fischl. And Charisma is a 13 because despite everything, Fischl is someone who can stay in character. The stars of Firmament are not but rifts, pressed open by Oz's beak into the boundless tapestry of darkness. You do say the strangest things, main Fräulein. Fischl's background is Outlander. She gets proficiency in athletics and survival, learns how to play the viol since it's a majestic instrument befitting of a princess, and she learns the abyssal language. My left eye. It is the all-seeing Algdever Ertelung, which reveals all that is true in the world. As to the question of why I conceal it, well, would you willingly bear the agony of piercing to the heart of all truths? Furthermore, the world would lose much of its appeal if wholly stripped of delusion and falsehood. <laughs> Fischl's personal characteristics are as follows. Her personality traits are, I'm obsessed with fantasy stories and I roleplay as a benevolent princess. I speak polite in a formal manner to all which confuses most. My ideals are, I do everything that I can to bring honor to my name by helping those in need and keeping them safe. Bonds are, I would go to the ends of the universe to help those that I call my friends. And her flaws are, I never drop my facade even if others find it hard to deal with. I'm the real Princess and Dev Atalang. Huh. You and I are both travelers from another world. That our paths have crossed here is no accident, but the will of fate. Starting out, Fischl will be a ranger. At level 1 ranger, she gets proficiency with insight, investigation, and animal handling. Fischl also gets favorite foe and deft explorer, Canny. Favored Foe acts as a mini Hunter's Mark that lets Fischl do a little bit of extra damage to a target she focuses on, while Deft Explorer gives Canny, which lets Fischl learn the languages Primordial and Elvish, and she gains expertise in Insight. At level 2 Ranger, Fischl gets a Fighting Style and access to level 1 spells. The Fighting Style she gets will be Archery, which lets her add more damage when she shoots with her bow. The spells she picks up are Detect Magic and Hunter's Mark. Detect Magic is basically Elemental Sight and lets her see anything magical within range. Hunter's Mark lets Fischl mark a target to deal more damage to them and make it easier for her to track said target for a few hours. At level 3 Ranger, Fischl gets her subclass being Beastmaster. She gets Primal Companion and Primal Awareness. Primal Companion lets Fischl summon one of three different beasts, but here she'll summon her trusty familiar Oz as a beast of the sky, and this is her elemental skill. Oz can help Fischl in combat by fighting alongside of her. Primal Awareness gives her spells every few levels that she can cast for free once. At this level she gets speak with animals, which as it sounds lets her speak with animals for up to an hour. At level 4 Ranger, Fischl gets an ability score improvement, being a plus 2 to dexterity, making it an 18. While she might not exercise a lot, she does train to have expert aim with a bow. 
At level 2 ranger, Fischl gets an extra attack and access to level 2 spells. Extra attack lets Fischl make 2 attacks a turn instead of 1. Primal Awareness gives her Beast Sense, which lets her share senses with another animal, like Oz, perfect for scouting out an area. She also picks up the spells Pass Without Trace and Summon Beast. Pass Without Trace lets Fischl summon the wings of Oz to cover the area around Fischl to grant her and her allies Stealth of the Night. And Summon Beast lets her summon one of Oz's subordinates to help in combat. My magic arrow cries out my holy name as it streaks through the night. Praying that the violent lightning of retribution shall strike the enemies of fate down from the skies. Quite awe-inspiring, main Fräulein. Since it's nearly dinner time, perhaps you might shoot a pigeon down while you're at it. We are done with Ranger for now and can switch over to Rogue for a few levels. At level 1 Rogue, Fischl gets proficiency in performance and gets expertise in investigation and stealth. She also gets sneak attack which lets her strike an enemy's blind spot to deal extra damage and she lures the thieves can't language. At level 2 Rogue, Fischl gets cunning action which lets her use a bonus action to hide, dash, or disengage. She's a master being the center of attention but she knows when to disappear if she needs to. At level 3 Rogue, Fischl gets her other subclass being Inquisitive. Here she gets Ear of Deceit, Eye for Detail, Insightful Fighting, Steady Aim, and Sneak Attack Plus. Ear of Deceit which makes it easier for Fischl to tell if someone is lying or not. Eye for Detail lets her look for something hidden or a secret without really trying. Insightful Fighting lets Fischl see how a person fights in combat and can then predict their movements to attack them at just the right time to make it easy to use Sneak Attack. With steady aim, if Fischl doesn't move, she can steady her aim to make it easier to hit her target. And sneak attack also gets stronger, adding another die up to damage. Now Fischl can go back to Ranger for a 6 level, getting Deft Explorer Roving and Favored Foe Plus. Deft Explorer Roving gives her extra movement speed and the ability to climb and swim the same amount of speed as her regular movement speed. And Favored Foe increases the amount of damage it does. At level 7 Ranger, Official gets Exceptional Training. With Exceptional Training, Oz at the Command Official can dash, help, or disengage. Plus, his attacks are fueled by darkness, so they count as magical attacks. With this, I may more fully manifest my majesty as Prinzessin de Ertelung and defeat that sworn enemy of fate named Reality. It will also be of use in your work for the Adventurer's Guild, main Fräulein. At level 8 Ranger, Fischl gets an ability score improvement, being a plus 2 to dexterity, making her dex a 20. She also gets Land Stride, which lets her move through difficult terrain and plants with ease, and she has a better time avoiding plants that were magically made. Going back over to level 4 Rogue, Fischl gets a feat being Sharpshooter. This lets Fischl take a penalty to her aim to increase the overall damage of her arrow shot. Sometimes you have to get into character in order to deal massive damage. At level 5 Rogue, Fischl gets Uncanny Dodge and Sneak Attack plus 2. With Uncanny Dodge, if she sees an attack that can hit her, she can have Oz's Shadow protect her so she takes half of the damage from the source. Sneak Attack adds an additional damage die to the damage again here. At level 6 Rogue, Fischl gets Expertise, and here she'll get it in Performance and Survival. She's mastering her roleplay as well as her skills in the wild. At level 7 Rogue, Fischl gets Evasion and Sneak Attack plus 3. With Evasion, if Fischl has to use a deck save to dodge something and succeed, she takes no damage. And in the off chance that she does fail, she only takes half damage. She's the main character and the universe knows it. Sneak Attack here adds an additional damage to its die. Rejoice! Else tremble in fear! Whence forth springs this call to mirth and misery, you ask? Let it be known that I, the Princess de Ertelung, sovereign of the Imernachaish, have peered forth with my leftmost eye into the tapestry of fate that doth make up the universe, and beheld its every warp, weft, and dangling orphaned thread. At level 8 Rogue, Fischl gets a ability score improvement, being a plus 2 to Wisdom, making it an 18. Ots has been slowly but surely teaching Fischl how to be a little bit better at social norms. At level 9 Rogue, Fischl gets Steady Eye and Sneak Attack plus 4. With Steady Eye, if she doesn't move too fast, she can have advantage on seeing potential danger or searching for clues. And her Sneak Attack adds another additional die to its damage to deal the full wrath of the Princess. With Rogue finally done, Fischl can now go back to Ranger to finish the build. At level 9 Ranger, Fischl gets access to level 3 spells. Primal Awareness gives her Speak with Plants, which lets her give sentience to plants in an area so Fischl can talk to them and ask them to do things like make difficult terrain. She also picks up Azardalan's Stride and Lightning Arrow. 
Asher Dolan Stride lets Fischl summon Oz to help her run around her enemies. Oz gives her some movement speed and leaves a blazing trail that damages anyone Fischl and Oz pass by. This is Fischl's elemental burst. With Lightning Arrow, she charges an arrow with Electro and shoots it at someone hit or miss. Every creature close to it has to try and avoid it or take damage. At level 10 Ranger, Fischl gets Death Explorer Tireless and Nature's Veil. With Death Explorer Tireless, she can draw from the universe to give herself temporary HP as well as recover from exhaustion by taking a short nap. Nature's Vera lets Fischl call upon Oz's shadow to turn her invisible for a few seconds. At level 11 Ranger, Fischl's last level, she gets Bestial Fury. With Bestial Fury, when Fischl commands Oz to attack, he can make two attacks instead of one. She also picks up the spell Conjure Animals, which lets Fischl summon Oz's Raven Army to help in combat. I appear to have regained most of the strength I lost in my transition to this world. <laughs> the day of judgment is nigh. Ugh, oh, worry not. Even at the last when I bring the lightning of retribution upon this world, you shall come to no harm, for thou art blessed by the princess in. With this, the Princess in Dev Atalong Fischl is done. She might stay in character more than needed, but Fischl always has her allies' backs. But now for the pros and cons of the build. Pros are that Fischl is a skilled princess and having 7 skills over a plus 10 to the rolls. Her all-seeing eye can find a liar with ease as well as find their hidden secrets. And she has the King of the Ravens, Oz, who is a great ally in and out of combat. And as well as being able to summon its comrades to help. Cons are that Fischl is single-minded, having a majority of her spells being concentration-based, so she has to choose what to use in certain situations. She's also a fragile princess and having not the best saving throws outside of dexterity, less than 140 HP, and an armor class of 16. And she isn't the best with crowds and would prefer one-on-one -on -one situations. But as long as she stays in the dark and commands with authority, Fischl's reign will last forever. Thank you for completing today's commission, and I'll see you all next time when we talk about the second son of the Fei Yun Commerce Guild.